How you sleep at night, man? Huh? How's your family? They sleeping well at night? Electricity still on? Heat still on? Refrigerator full of food? Gas tank full of gas? Going Chuck E. Cheese this weekend or something? Not me. No, my kids, we're not going to do anything. Swung on a fly ball to right field. Might be a grand slam. Fairchild going back at the wall. It's gone. A grand slam for Jalen Davis. All I can say is hopefully this meeting lasts longer than the previous one because the last meeting before the lockout lasted a full seven minutes, shorter than the length of this YouTube video. Absolutely embarrassing, absolutely insane. They've gone into a lockout and since then have not even had a discussion, no proposals, and we are getting closer and closer to when spring training is supposed to begin. This is bullshit! But according to Jeff Pass and Major League Baseball and the MLB Players Association plan to hold a bargaining session Thursday. That would be January 13th, sources tell ESPN. MLB is expected to make a core economics proposal at the session, which would be the first between the sides since the league locked out the players on December 2nd. Absolutely crazy that they have not even had a discussion since then and we'll jump into the comment section and you know talking jake trevor story says players probably just accepted and we can continue the offseason in spring training uh yeah i highly doubt that there will be any kind of uh you know an agreement here at this meeting it feels like they're so far apart and i don't know i just don't see any you know this they had to get started to get anywhere and when you just wait and do nothing that's what pisses me off if they were having meetings and throwing back proposals back and forth at least like they were doing in 2020 it was frustrating because nobody would accept but at least they were putting out proposals even if they wouldn't accept it they were putting out proposals now we're seeing nothing players are going to say they're not even close um, they're going to say they're not close to even remotely in the same ballpark and, play, and owners will think they were too generous and we will hear nothing until early February when they try again and come up with the same damn thing they had last CBA. Play, problem is players don't like the last CBA. That's true. Players want a lot of changes. The players are the ones who want changes. Players want to be able to go into free agency quicker. They want to be paid more earlier even though they get paid pretty damn well from an early you know stage in their careers it's not enough they want more and that's just the fact they want more whether you agree with that or not i personally think you know that they should be happy with what they get but you know i'm not a player so you know i don't know what it's like to be in that in that situation but i mean i can understand you have extreme talent but you're going to get your millions you're going to get your millions just be patient how much is enough how big does this pile have to be? You're going to get tens of millions if you're good. Maybe hundreds of millions if you're really good. I mean, let's be real. So, you know, these players get paid insane amounts of money. I know that the owners are even richer. They're billionaires. But I expect greed from billionaires. I expect that from billionaires. So, you know, it's not right. But, you know, I just expect more from the players. Try to get what you want. Try to get what you want. But... You know, be willing to negotiate. Just get in there and negotiate. Get something done. You were right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were short. So let's uh, move on here. I'm just kind of looking over some of the comments. Rob Manfred, after ticking off, uh, after sorry, after tricking everyone to come to the meeting. <laughs> Uh, core economics. What about voodoo economics? By noon Thursday, MLBPA views the new proposal as a non-starter with one source saying it's worse than before. Feel like I've seen this movie before. Absolutely. So, yeah, sounds good. DM me today and I'll get your park pass registered for the event. So, uh, MLB Fan Association is sending these two to negotiate on our behalf. Um, bottom line, this is really no news right here. No news at all. Uh, five bucks is the best I can do. I mean, uh, bottom line is this is this means almost nothing other than at least they're talking. And I've said, you know, they need to be talking, but they're starting late. If they'd have started this earlier, maybe they'd have already had a month of progress. But they're so mad at each other, hate each other so much, they won't even talk. I just want to talk to him. Wait, why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. Dad, this is... 
is ridiculous. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. And uh, at least now they're finally talking, and we'll see if this goes anywhere. But uh, I doubt it. I think that they will miss some games. They will miss some time. Maybe they'll be able to get it figured out and squeeze in a 162-game season. You know, and there's a good chance that they will do that and maybe extend the playoffs maybe a little bit later into November. Um, I could see that happening. But, you know, bottom line is this is an embarrassment, in my opinion. I think that uh, fans are getting pissed off. They're making a lot of jokes in the comment section. But wait until some games start getting missed. Wait until a month from now and see what happens. You know, it won't be so jokey. People will really get mad. Um, and people will start to say, screw this. Just like in 94, except this time there ain't going to be no steroid era to bring the fans back. That's my opinion on it. But let me know what you guys think down below. Is this a meeting? Is there going to be any progress here? Um, or is this just going to be kind of a 2020 thing where proposals go back and forth? And at that point, Rob Manfred had the power to institute a 60-game season and make them play. That's not really the situation this time. So a lot is different now, and there may be missed games. There may be lots of missed games. And we just finished a 60-game season and are having all this COVID thing, and it just, just ain't the time for this. Y'all need to get it figured the freak out. Let's go. Can't wait for them to have another five-minute meeting again. Guys, if this meeting is five, six, seven minutes, ten minutes long or something like that, uh, it, it's going to be bad news. It's going to be real bad news. Um, and my predictions may be even more gloom if that happens. Six weeks of nothing. Six weeks of nothing. My channel is in absolute disarray, and I'm pissed off. I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.